Yo, 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 it's your boy Rapping Millions back again. We're here with another video here to drop y'all some more gaming information and gaming news. Now, here I go. Now, I know I say gaming news. This isn't gaming news this time around. This is just me talking off the top of my head here. Just doing a little st comparison between Street Fighter V versus Mortal Kombat X. Now, here we go. Now, I'm going to start talking about Street Fighter V first because it's, it's easier to talk about right now. I'm not gonna say the other one's harder, but I mean, it's just, it's fresher right now, and Mortal Kombat's gonna have something dropping soon, so I'm gonna talk about that and discuss that as well. Now, Street Fighter V just came out about a week ago, no pun intended, and the thing about this game is, it was incomplete. It was, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, like, the mechanics and everything was bullshit, and the controls were just terrible, and all that, which I know the online's not that great, but I mean, you kind of expect that, considering the fact this is their first time ever doing a cross-platform play versus PlayStation 4 versus PC uh, players so that's you know that's kind of understandable I'll let that slide but the thing is about this game like the, the thing let me put it like this you have such a beautiful game mechanics work um, the the graphics are amazing despite it's cell shaded which everybody likes that feature anyway I like the way the textures look in this game it's beautiful everything the foreground and the background is wonderful but in the mechanics work all the, the way the fighting style feels this game reminds it's like a fusion of Street Fighter 2 with like street with like a, a with street fighter 4 so i like the way they did that and they took out the focus punch and replaced it with like a counter move which is even better than ever i think i think it really works because i feel like the focus was getting a little yeah just a little yeah i did i didn't really like it that much in street fighter 4 but um regardless of that i'm just saying this game right here is actually fun but the thing is it lacked so many modes it lacked arcade mode, it lacked um, challenge mode, it lacked the shop. It, all those features and functions are not coming and dropping until next month, which is a little like, uh, which only got like a week left actually until it actually hits next month. And uh, then the, um, the, the patch will actually come, which is a free patch. And of course, as you know, all the free, all the characters that you get in this game that's going to be upcoming are free. The only time you have to actually buy them is if you want to use the microtransaction system or if you want to use the in game system or excuse me system currency in that they're using or you can just earn them by doing certain challenges and certain um certain things in the game but i mean that's kind of dope and i wish more fighting games would do that which i hope that's going to be the the case for these upcoming fighting games like tekken and all that stuff but anyways but i mean that that with that done and said i mean other overall this game is fun at least you can still play the little modes they have survival mode you can play the story mode which is not that long it's like five minutes each character which is almost like two to three hours worth and then um you have the actual multiplayer which is battle lounge casual match and ranked match and then you have your versus mode which allows you to play your homie which you can't play against the ai which sucks and then you have training mode but above all this game right here is off the chain but i would wait for a while before, until you buy it so just if you don't want to take my word for it okay and if you're one of those people that's gonna dog on me because you think i'm hating on it go ahead i don't care now on to the next one mortal Kombat x mortal Kombat x oh my god this game when it launched it has Full on every it has everything. It has a, a great character setup. I know people are kind of distraught about comparing it to, uh, to Street Fighter V. It only has 16 characters. This game right here has I think like 20 plus characters. And then not only that, they're adding a couple more. But the only thing I can say that I could tell you about this game, it was terrible. Because this game is a full package. It came with story mode, arcade, tutorial, training. You could play versus mode versus a friend or an AI. You can go through the tower mode and do all these like actual challenges they let you do to earn experience for your account but the thing that i can say that kind of pissed me off about this game is the fact that they gave you they're making you buy characters that were technically on the 60 dollars product and that's what kind of pissed off a lot of people now the thing that's crazy about that i'm talking about like this like Boracho is how he's coming out tanya already came out uh goro they like you had to pay for those and they were already on the fucking disc and not only that there was like other characters that could have been playable but they're not accessible you can only fight them in story mode like Sindel, cabal striker um baraka it, it's just it's shit like that they kind of pissed me off it just it really it really just was like a big turnoff because i was so excited for this game and that's what's really wrong with this this game industry is the way they set up stuff and it's just this establishment is really going down but i mean and it's for you and it's for the games you have so much love for and you grew up for and i know they're trying to change trying to be modern about some shit but that shit's not right that is just the coldest thing you could ever do to your gamers but i mean above all i can say that this game right here the the 
the way the fighting style is, the art, the, the, the way that everything looks, it's fucking badass. Yeah, this doesn't have a cell shaded graphics, it has a more realistic graphics because of course, you know, Mortal Kombat's known for that now because every game is so damn graphic. And the fatalities are more brutal than ever, they brought back brutalities. You can do uh, faction fatalities, all kinds of shit. You can go to the crypt and buy your costumes. This game comes with the full package day one. Besides the, the characters that are that you can't, uh, they're unaccessible or you have to buy them in the future. But above all, this game right here is actually fun. Now, what can I say is the better game as of right now? In my personal opinion, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Mortal Kombat because I love Mortal Kombat to death. But I will say this, I will say this, I will say this, I don't hate Street Fighter because I grew up playing Street Fighter just the same as Mortal Kombat. I grew up playing them inside like our old arcades or going to like food grocery stores or going to like little Chinese stores and stuff and not being racist but when I go to Chinese food my grandparents or my parents they have little arcade you know cabinets there like Street Fighter 2 or Mortal Kombat 3 that type of stuff but this nostalgia is there for both of them and above all overall these games are both amazing but on that but that done and said I will wait I will tell you to wait a little bit before you buy Street Fighter 5 unless you just want to go ahead and get in and try to get your get your skills up and learn each character so you can go to like esports or go to tournaments that are upcoming in your neighborhood or or your town or in other cities across the board and in um, on Mortal Kombat's behalf I do recommend you buy it but I will also wait on that because as of right now the new the newer one's about to drop next week and not only that it's going to be coming with every character DLC all the costumes etc etc as well as the new as well as the new characters now I'm sorry if I was all over the place it's been a long week and I am a little exhausted but I'm doing this for y'all